There is so much crypto news today, so let's dive right in. First, we have an update on where Bitcoin is trading on its logarithmic chart. So if you check this chart out, you can just see Bitcoin mapped logarithmically has always traded within a defined range, rock solid. It's hit the lower bound, it's hit the upper bound, and it just trades within the defined range. When an asset is growing exponentially, this is how the price action works. It maps the growth of the network. And so what we're seeing right now is Bitcoin crashing below the lowest bound for only the second time in its history. The last time it did this was March 2020, which was the most incredible buying opportunity in Bitcoin. Well, now we're here again. So it just shows that we're technically oversold and due for at least a short term bounce. And what's exciting is the pricing, the price action is so different from the underlying fundamentals of the entire crypto space. For instance, crypto bosses flex political muscle with 5,200% surge in US giving. Crypto understands how America works. Obviously, if you want favorable regulation, which crypto absolutely needs because it is so early stage, you have to give money to politicians. And that's just how lobbying works. Guys, look at how crypto compares to other massive industries. This is crypto, this is big tech, this is big pharma, and this is defense. How powerful are big pharma and big defense? Pretty much they're untouchable because politicians love greasing the wheels in favor of the bigger spending industries, right? Well, crypto is beating those. So that is a very good sign. It's a sign of what's going on beneath the surface and how we could get favorable regulation in the future for crypto, even though a lot of people are still bearish on that. They think that for some reason they're going to ban crypto, which clearly not. Obviously, that's my opinion. Who really knows? But it seems like everything is pointing that direction. Let's talk about some assets that are going to do extremely well once the market finally recovers. First, we have Cardano. As part of a diversified portfolio, you have to consider all these different assets. Well, Cardano is doing things beneath the scenes. Cardano faces institutional inflows as investors pull funds from Ethereum and Bitcoin to ADA. There's a lot that's going to happen to Cardano this summer. They are building out. This should be a big year for Cardano. For instance, the biggest and most awaited update for Cardano is the Vasil hard fork that will bring several CIPs to life. Expected network upgrades will decrease transaction fees and processing time, making Cardano one of the cheapest and fastest networks in the industry. I thought Cardano has been overvalued for a long time. It's finally starting to justify that valuation, particularly because they're doing something big in DeFi. They are launching a stable coin called a DGED. It's a stable coin based on an algorithmic design. It uses smart contracts to ensure price stabilization and that the coin will be useful for decentralized finance. It operates by keeping a reserve of base coins and minting and burning stable coins and reserve coins. So it's an algorithmic stable coin, which is scary because Terra Luna just collapsed using that technology, but this should be backed by more than that, you would assume, but it will attract a lot of total value lock to the Cardano network, that's for sure. Let's keep moving, so many other assets to cover. Shiba Inu now accepted as payment by this top Brazilian football club. Obviously, this is just one development, Sao Paulo Football Club, but it's a sign in the global adoption, right? We know it's huge in the United States, it's going to be big in Brazil. It's big all, everywhere. And so that's what's cool about crypto. It's a global asset class. And it's good to see it being adopted globally because it adds to the decentralized nature of SHIB. You don't want it to be all focused on one country. And so here is another update on one of the assets I've talked about. Extremely risky, extremely early stage, extremely small micro cap asset. Reflex Finance is up 84% today okay that's because they have an announcement coming out we don't know exactly what it's going to be about but it's supposed to be a revolutionary decentralized finance application and the only reason why i'm bringing this asset up is because i do hold it it's a little exciting because it's fully diluted market cap is 11 million its market cap is 7 million dollars which means it 10x is to 75 million and then it 10x is further to 750 million which is small for crypto and so there's so much upside in these micro cap assets check it out it's hyper deflationary we'll talk more it pays passive income there is so much to discuss guys